Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Uh, after I review, rate, and rank this song, I'm going to read a recent uh, comment I received on this series and my response to it, so I hope you stay tuned for that. So this is for You Can't Do That. John Lennon, vocals, lead guitar. Paul McCartney, backing vocals, bass, and cowbell. George Harrison, backing vocals, 12-string rhythm guitar, and Ringo Starr, drums, and conga. First released in the UK and US as the B-side of Can't Buy Me Love. You Can't Do That was a typically confrontational song written by John Lennon. The song was originally intended to be the Beatles' sixth UK single. I never knew that. I bet you didn't know that. Until McCartney came up with Can't Buy Me Love. By 1964, Lennon and McCartney were writing together less frequently, and the quality of Can't Buy Me Love spurred Lennon on to write the majority of the A Hard Day's Night album. You Can't Do That was first released in March 1964. It later reappeared on the second half of the UK album A Hard Day's Night, and in the US on the Capitol release, The Beatles' second album. And I need to do a video soon on The Beatles' US albums, and I shall. Oh my God, You Can't Do That is so damn good. Uh, the cowbell. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the cowbell, but it works so well in the song. And uh, the aggression in, in the vocals, in the music, uh, Ringo's drumming is awesome, the guitar work, Lennon, of course, his vocals. I'm sorry, it's a 10 out of 10. And it's one of my favorite of the 40 songs I've rated, reviewed, and ranked, it's, it's in the top 10, folks. A 10 out of 10, and it is between If I Fell and I Should Have Known Better at number friggin' 7. And now, let's get serious for a second. I can't pronounce this, this person's name. I apologize, so I'll just have you read it. Try saying that three times. And this was on my previous Beatles song that I reviewed. Nice exercise. Thank you. Nice exercise, but it looks like you're going to rate most Beatles songs as 10. Now it's roughly 50%, and you've only covered the first three albums. So in the end, rating will be almost meaningless. If you give 10 to songs like Misery and Bait... Did you hear that? That was weird. I'll have to replay that. Misery and misery... It's like I whistled. I can't even whistle. If you give 10 to songs like Misery and Baby It's You, how are you going to rate Strawberry Fields Forever, A Day in the Life, or Eleanor Rigby? I think you should impose a maximum number of 10s. Say, maximum 10%. Well, this is just getting completely silly. It really, seriously... Uh, I've been kind of delighted and surprised with the series so far that really there's been hardly any, you know, negative comments. You know, usually, you know, you're wrong or, you know, with my own opinion. Uh, and first of all, this is just entertainment, folks. I don't take it that seriously. There's other Beatles fans out there that are way more obsessed with the Beatles than I am. Somebody else had mentioned, you know, uh, it's kind of like all I talk about is the Beatles, or think about is the Beatles, when that's far from the truth. But that being said, the Beatles are and were the greatest rock band of all time, in my opinion. And songs, yes, probably... 70, 80% of their songs are tens, and I'm not changing my opinion on that. The, the big thing for me doing this series is going to be ranking the songs, which is kind of impossible, but it's just fun to do. And, and so far, I think, you know, I've been pretty satisfied with the ranking of my own personal opinion. <laughs> and, uh, but yes, uh, you can't do that. I would rate it a, a 10 out of 10. What would I rate Strawberry Fields Forever? 
a 10 out of 10. You have to also realize they're in different eras of time. And you have to put that into consideration. So I'm not going to go back and uh, say, give a hard day's night. Well, I'll just give that an eight because they got better, you know, in their career. At the time it was released, what a great friggin' song, a 10 out of 10, and my rating would never change for it. That being said, a hard day's night, a day in the life, which one would I rank higher? A day in the life. So, in the long run, it is going to, you know, work, work out, I think. So, I would just say pay more attention to the ranking of the songs than the 10 out of 10s. Because, yes, I'm going to give a lot of 10 out of 10s. And I ha I'm not embarrassed or ashamed to do that. Because it's the friggin' Beatles, folks. Should have told him. Have a great day. Bye.